Okay. Okay. And yeah, it's start. I think oh. we're live now. Yeah. I think we're live. Yeah, ah, we are yes. here. We are here. Hi. Um, hi. But, yeah. Oh. We need to say. Okay. Uh, there you live. go. Okay. Awesome. Cool. So I've been asked to introduce everybody again. This is Arnold. Hi. He is oh, the guy that you talk to um, whenever you email support at robolink.com. This is Husab. He is the co-drone whisperer. <laughs> and yeah. today um, you are going to be learning from them about how to control your co-drone with Python. And this is going to help you learn how to use color detection and video streaming. So go for it. Yes. So this will actually be pretty <laughs> short. Um, so on the back right here, we have the PyCharm opened up. Uh, PyCharm is what you downloaded yes. last week. Yes. PyCharm is what you downloaded last week. Um, I'm just gonna do it like this. Okay. Why don't you pull up a chair? Really? And <laughs> make yourselves comfortable. So. The first thing you got to do in order to run this program is you got to write these couple of lines. So you got to import uh, petrone dot uh, drone. You import this. Um, once you do that, you got to type this line right here, which creates like a drone object. Once you create the drone object, then you have to connect it to it. So you do drone dot connect. If you want to change the COM port, you just have to go into uh, the port that you want to select and put in the device name. And those would be parameters you would put inside of here. Uh, then we just delay for like one second. Um, this program that we wrote is just going to check if it's connected. Once it's connected to the drone, it's going to take off. So it's going to print that through the, the bottom right here. Uh, it's going to send the command to take off. And then it's going to do it for five seconds just hovering. Then it's going to print a land drone, and then it's going to land. It's going to do that for a second, and then it's going to disconnect. So that's, that's what it should do. Let me get this open real quick. And Husup will now be showing you how to physically set it up and connect. So right now so, he's got this. So we are using the Bluetooth port. You are just plugging to your laptop or computer. And Actually, drone dot connect. Oh, actually, they're searching your comport and just finding this board and connect with that. So, as you finish this script, click the right, right button, right, right click. button. Yeah, right click, and there has a like a run something. I think yeah, there has run lightning. I changed the name, but like they're just saying the. Lightning thing, so sorry about that. Okay, yeah. so now you just click run, right? Yeah, so look. that green arrow up there. No, like no here part. Like you need to run the your actual Python script name. Uh, okay. And if you um, click this, let's get the video so they can see. They can oh. see. Show them the Bluetooth module as well. So, so the green connected. indicates it's paired. So it should fly, uh, hover okay. for five seconds, and then it comes down. Yeah. Oh! And it lands. And that's how you create very basic program just to get your uh, code drone up and moving. Um, eventually, we'll show you how to install the OpenCV library, which lets you do uh, the keyboard control commands. Uh, actually, we might be using a different library for that, just for keyboard control. In order to it's it. just like a moving this. Huh? No, but eventually we're going to uh, do like yeah. keyboard control. Okay. So yeah, so that's all you need for this program. Just it's going to fly, take off. You can make it do different commands. You can make it fly in a shape if you want, maybe a square. You just have to change uh, inside of here these uh, send commands. Um, and we'll be showing you that probably on a different uh, lesson, oh, which he's going to go through right now. <laughs> so, yeah, we are going to, like, uh, just showing the how to control. Like, we need to, like, uh, control, like, uh, going forward or up, left, right, or backward or down. So you, you need to know how to control with the Python, but, like, it's really one command, one line command, drone dot send control. And it's the order is like 
Wool pitch your throttle. Wool means like moving left or right. Uh, pitch means like moving forward or backward. And yawing is turn left or right. Mm, and the last one, throttle, is going up or down. Like throttle and throttle, like a plus val value is going up, minus value is going down. And the the yaw plus value is turn right and minus value is turn left. Pitch plus value is going forward, minus value is going backward. And the last one, roll, plus value is moving right side, minus value is moving left side. So if you see this code, and they're just showing go forward, go right, go backward, and go left. It moves like the square. So let me show the demo. Just okay. So moving to the right. Yeah, so it's same as like we're just doing with uh, running the square. Click that, and they are showing the like some little script that I printed. So, so they're going to take take off, go for right. Oh, oh my yeah. god, the space is a little small, so yeah, we crashed the wall. But it like, a little bit too small. so yeah, you can use like that, you can use like a fly forward or up, down, wherever you want. Left, right, mm -hmm. spiral. Do you want to say more? Do you want me to say more? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should I almost, say? almost ended. Yeah, okay. I have been told to talk. <laughs> so if you are using this, um, you are going to need a lot of space, just like you would with any other um, program that you're using for your code drone. So make sure you have at least 10 feet um, of flying distance, if not more. We recommend about 15 by 15 by 10. Um, and next week, what do we have for next week? What's going on? Yeah, we are writing the like a newsletter, so you can see. Okay, hold on one second. I yeah. have her in now. I'm just gonna check real quick uh, <laughs> what we wrote down. Ah, yes. ah, ah, sorry. Okay, so this is the second webinar out of a seven part series on color detection and video streaming. So next week, this is Arnold's favorite thing ever, um, open CV installation. So Arnold, do you want to explain what open CV is really quick? So open CV, just like quick, like just explanation of what it can do is you can detect uh, different objects just using a camera. Uh, one of the great things with CoDrone is that you can put one of the cameras on top, the FPV module, uh, OpenCV program will run, and the reason why it's called OpenCV is because it's an open source uh, like math library for a bunch of different uh, math operations you can do on a, on a video frame. So when the video frame comes in, let's say you just want to extract this red color. Well, OpenCV has some math functions that let you just extract that specific color. There's more advanced functions that let you do classification, like you'll be able to detect my face, that kind of stuff. And basically, with the FEV module, you'll be able to have access to all this stuff. You have a video stream, your computer will be able to run OpenCV, um, and that's what we're going to be showing you next week how to do. Awesome. Yeah. So, no, we're not finished yet. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you have any questions, you can comment on our Facebook page. You can email support at robolink.com. Um, there is also a Facebook group. It's um, kind of Robolink kit owners or something like that. If you look up Robolink, I think it's about like the second or third result. So any questions, let us know. We will see you next week for OpenCV installation. Bye. Bye. Uh...